Hello, everybody. This is Pahamar. And this is Direwolf20. And we're coming to you from a previously recorded segment of episode 29 of Material Energy Hypercubed. Yay. How are you, Pahamar? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I am hurting just a little bit. Why are you hurting? Because uh, I converted most of my life essence into reinforced watering cans. Oh. And I expanded our wheat farm just a little bit. Now, why would you do that? Well, because I'm trying to get cookies, and like the amount of cookies we need is bordering on the obscene. Yeah. Okay, that is a lot of wheat. Yeah, and it's still not enough. Like, if you look in the chest, like our and I expanded our cocoa bean farm just a little bit as well. But like our cocoa beans are growing faster than the wheat still. Like we're we have a wheat shortage. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow we have a wheat shortage. So many seeds. Yeah, they're getting voided at this point. I mean, there's no point. So, yeah. But the good news is, is you can kill a wither again. Yeah? Yeah, it's time. Uh, I don't want to kill a wither again. Oh, but I made a spawner. Do you want me to put it down? I would really appreciate you not putting that down right now. <laughs> can I put it in the AE system? Because I know that with our wireless okay. recharger that uh, it would become power the minute I put it down. Yeah, you don't want you don't want any part of placing a wither spawner in our base, please. Thank you. I would appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, Pymar, for not placing a wither spawner in the middle of the observatory. You know, it's because I care. I'm glad. So yeah, that's what I worked on between this episode and next. Basically taking the exact same um, process that I've done before and just making it bigger. Uh, I discovered that this thing has a radius of about 10 or 11 blocks when it has an octodic capacitor in it. So technically, I could boost the size of this farm as well if I wanted to. Um, but I haven't, mostly because I don't have any more reinforced watering cans. And um, I don't have any more health to steal uh the the reason i have any health at all at this point is just because i've got the red heart canisters so red heart canisters are giving me these orange hearts the yellow heart canisters are giving me should have given me a full bar of yellow hearts and then the two green heart canisters should have given me two green hearts but you'll notice that i have like two and a half hearts it's because nine and a half of my hearts are missing because i ate up my soul so that was a good time doesn't sound like it yeah, so I'm 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 lo I lost twenty max health, but I got overall Cookies. some watering cans out of it. Well, yeah, I guess. So I mean, it's kind of worth it a little bit, but not really, because it's still slow. Like it's still like not even moving. It's definitely faster than it was, but I mean, wow. So I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay, shoot. Like, um, what I'm wishing we could get our hands on, because I've heard it's really, really powerful, like, brokenly overpowered, but what I want to get my hands on is a Torch of Time, the Torturino, but that requires an octuple compressed cookie just to craft. But I, has it ever been found in, like, a legendary bag? Because I feel like that would be a legendary reward. I honestly don't know. So, what I think we should do... Because we have a couple quests left, let's complete the Deep Dark Wool and a couple other, the last two quests. Um, and then maybe we can poke around some of the community spatial areas, and some of these might wind up having either a Torturino or some kind of cookie system that we can get cookies easier. That sounds like a plan. So we already have a portal to the Deep Dark. Yeah. So would you like to go through? And just remember, we're going to have to probably teleport back here using uh, admin commands, because the, the portal that leads back to the end is not working correctly. Yeah. So let's pop through and see what's on the other side of the deep dark. Oh, right, and we log. Yep, the fun part. Okay. So we need to get to... ten forty two eleven hundred. Hey, let me do it. I'm going to let you mine because you have that insta click. And I'll just follow behind you placing torches. Here we are. This is 1042 right here where I'm at. 
Yep, so now we need to go... 1100, so this way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I agree. You place torches on the ground, you're weird. This is it, 1040 to 1100. What, why? And then it's Y level 8. So actually, this way, Bahamar. Dig straight down from there. Okay. Why would you do this to me? I don't know, you survived. There's light over there. I don't have any more torches with me. Oh, it's another portal to the deep dark. Where? Right here. Oh. That might be mine, maybe? There's an angel block over here? Really? That's weird. Of course you can mine now. Block. I keep it. I'm lost. Oh, there we are. Uh, so yeah, we have to go back to... We have to go down to Y level 8 at 1040 to 1100. I'll dig down. How many uh, torches do you have, my good sir? 55. Alright, can you toss me like half of them? Ten forty two, eleven hundred. Isn't there a rule about not digging straight down? Yep. Okay, I'm breaking that rule at the moment. You also can fly. That's true. It's a lot of good uh things down here. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm at the place with the things visited. Detection task. A task with a player needs specific items. These do not have to be handed in having them in one's inventory. So we have to look around and find the deep dark wool here. I when you um did the dimensional thing, did you also do the deep dark? Um, I don't know. Okay, well, we'll I look don't around. Know what dimension the uh, deep dark is. I want to say it's negative 100. I found a dungeon. A but there's no chests in it. That's rude. Yeah, like a vanilla dungeon. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see it there. I was excited. And you just couldn't hide it? Pretty much, yeah. Are you seeing anything in particular? That jumps out at you and says, hey, I have wool. Well, there was a spider. Yeah. He has string, not wool. Not There's some that. really large and weird lava structures here. Like, this lava is all kinds of weird. Why don't you fly around for a bit and see if you can find something? Oh, yeah, no, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm seeing nothing. I mean, I imagine I'm looking for, like, that structure that he always builds, right? The thing with the stuff in it. That's what I would imagine. Carmot ore, okay. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing anything that jumps out at me. It says, hey, I probably have wool in it. Um... I am getting dangerously low on torches. As in, I have zero.
I'm really glad I brought another portal to the deep dark. Oh, that was cool of you. Ouch, I'm on fire. Yep, I got nothing, buddy. Yeah, I'm having a hard time here, too. It, it sucks because it is so dark. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's the deep dark. That's... That's the thing. There's definitely large structures of lava going on up here. Yeah, but I don't know if that's just deep dark stuff, or... It doesn't look like standard deep dark ore generation to me, but... I haven't spent all that much time in the deep dark. Usually my deep dark experience is set up Cory and leave. I don't think I've ever actually like dug around at the deeper Y levels of the deep dark because it's usually a terrifying place. Let's uh, let's poke around a little bit more. Maybe fly. I'm gonna fly back to the base and get um, some more torches and come back in a few minutes. And we might need to do that repair thing that we did to other dimensions because I don't know if like there's something that's supposed to be here that's not or what the deal is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, Gary Do you Coleman want zombie. to? What's that? Gary Coleman zombie. Ah. Do you want to uh, just do like the repair thing? Just anyway, like we can. Uh... We would want to get out of here first, because otherwise we could be trapped in something. Yeah. Let's teleport back to the end, and then we'll come back after we've uh, copied over the dimension number for this age and such. It's negative 100, I believe. Cool. Cool. All right, we'll be back in a minute, guys. We're back. So we yep. restored this dimension, and it definitely does look different. Yeah, this is... We got ourselves back to our normal spot, and we started digging down, and, and yeah, there was a drop, so... All right, I'm digging down at 1042, 1100. Oh yeah, there's things down here. Uh, you're gonna want either wings or I don't know what. Octuple compressed cookie, what? You found one? I found something, I'm not really sure. Octuple, no, that's octuple compressed cobblestone. My oh bad. goodness. Yeah, I told you to be careful. Pahamar, no listen. Oh, I found the wall. <laughs> All right, well, I'm coming along. Yeah, a couple compressed cobblestone is very dark material. It is hard to see, but it is literally like right at that point that we fall through. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that there's access to the void here. So really don't like, why don't you just not come down here? My gear's there. Well, yeah, like get your gear, but don't go any further. But I got the deep dark wool. And I'm going to explore just a little bit. But yeah, like the floor is uh, made glitching. of octuple compressed cobble, which you can't see. And then there's sections that are just wide open to the void. So if you fall, like, don't expect to get your gear back ever. Ugh, I'm glitching. Glitchy glitch. I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's anything interesting down here. It doesn't really look like it. Like there's a, there's something of a dungeon-ish thing, but there's really nothing in it. But I'm just gonna look around a little bit because why not? Let me know if you want, I could probably just well, yeah, I could probably just get your gear for you. It depends how much you had, but... All my good stuff. But I got a water bucket, so I'm just using a water elevator. Okay, that works. I'm killing an Enderman. Because it seems Enderman like something you would do. 
Well, actually, one of like the kill X number of mobs quests that we haven't completed yet is Enderman. I want to see how many of those left to do. Um... Could use a little help. I think we Thank, have like eight or nine Thanks for more. lighting up the spot. What spot? Oh, that spot. Yeah, I should probably light that up. <sighs> to be fair, it's a very, very large, wide area. So lighting it up is almost impossible. Poor Pahamar, he's got it rough. He plays with Direwolf. I know, right? I am a big nuisance to play with. In general, you're a fairly nice guy. My derping knows no bounds. That is indisputable. All right, it's relatively lit, but like I said, it's a giant area. So, like, completely lit is just not going to happen. That's fine, just so that I can get my gear, because once I get my gear, I'm good. Yeah. I kind of feel like there should be more down here because there's these giant, like, colorful buildings, but not much else. Okay, uh, let's hope I can circle up. Thank you. I'm covering you. Here, why don't I do this for you? There you go. Yeah, it's just really hard to see anything here. Like, don't fall, though, because bad things down there. So I'm going to see what the next quest is in the line. If it's in the uh, nether portal. So I guess that's in the overworld. I think we have to go back to the overworld again. That seems like something we would have to do. You have your portal, right? Uh, I had to place it at the top. Oh, okay. It's at the top of this waterfall? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to fly up there. Is it at the top top? Yep. It's where we spawned in. Oh, you shouldn't have had to place it. There should have been one that appeared when we spawned in. There was not. Well, that's weird. No, there should have been. Like, 100% should have been. I got there before you, dude. It wasn't there. That's weird. All right. I'm going to take it. Um, do you want to come back in a few minutes once you get up here and we can go check out this nether exploration and we can also see what, what reward we got? Sounds good, because this is going to be a long elevator ride. Okay, back in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. Bahamar, we have to head for 672-1300, which is... A long way that way? Southwest. You know what I'm going to do? What's that? I'm going to place a waypoint for the portal back. Because last okay, time we you got do lost. That. Okay. Hey, I, um, I kind of hope you like swimming. I just, it's my favorite. Okay, good, because you're going to need to do a lot of that.
I've actually gone a little bit too far. This way. Oh, that's a giant building. Of what appears to be obsidian, maybe? So, I found the nether portal. It's kind of hard to miss, Fahamar. Because it's a giant portal? Um, for, for reasons similar to that, yes. Alright, I'm on my way, because I needed to make some boats. Okay, do you want to stop recording for a minute, and when you get here, we'll record? Sounds good, because you made it sound like there's a whole ocean, so... Pretty much, yeah. Okay, we'll be back in a sec, guys. So, Dyer, you weren't kidding. Giant wall. Yeah, it's a little big, right? There you are, so you should have a path to get up. Thank you, sir. You're very kind and a gentleman. Thank you. By the way, one of the quests that we have is to um, kill zombie pigmen. Oh. So I, I may take that. Um, and, and do that while we're in here. So my only question then would be, do we maybe need to copy the files over for the nether? Should we should we just do that? Because I'm wagering we're going to spend some time in here and realize that we needed <laughs> yeah. to do that. Yeah. Let's, just yeah. do that. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. All right, we'll come back in a minute, guys. All right, Dyer, looks like we fixed it. Yay, Pahamar fixed. Woo, so head southwest, Pahamar. I really wish I had wings. There's a wither. Of course there's a wither. Yeah. So we're looking for negative 9, 225. Oh, there's a weather spawner. Hold on, let me get it. There's two weather spawners. There's many weather spawners. There's just endless weather spawners, dude. You have fun. Yeah, no, I'm getting out of here. It's literally just a corridor of weather spawners. Wow, they are just obliterating. I'm picking them off one at a time. Matter cannon? Uh, well, I'm sniping them until their shield comes up. And that makes them like chase after me. And then I just sword them to death. Ah, I got hit. I don't know why I thought that like this little trek through the nether would be not terrible. Something made me think like, oh yeah, we'll just go over and find this thing. Because so far, like the last couple things have been not terrible. I'm not even going to bother, like I'm just going right through. You're just going to ignore the withers? Yeah. This is a very long corridor of just wither spawners, like every two feet. 
But I'm flying above it right now, so I'm avoiding most of it. I need to find the Hef Wolf. I've got it. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I agree 100%. Well, the, we only have 44 more zombie pigmen to kill. Yeah, I know. I was figuring we could do that away from the long line of withers. Luckily, I've got wither too for the next 20 seconds. <laughs> it's making flying away very annoying. Your idea of lucky is very interesting. I know. Eight more seconds of this terror. I survived! So yeah, I'm all about killing some zombie pigmen right now. Maybe I'll just do that off camera or something later. Maybe I'll do it now, but... We got the wolf! Hooray! And a bunch of division sigil sigils and some yellow hearts. Meh. Not so interested in that stuff. Yeah. Um, let's head back to the nether portal and check out our spoils and rewards and then consider what our next sub quest should be. Sounds good, because I think, yeah. That's pretty good for the lost in time. I'm going to claim my rewards real quick. So we've got the deep dark. Which got me a legendary reward bag. Actually, I don't think I want to do this. Let's let's teleport back to the uh, the end. That's because my inventory idea. is full. Back in a few. Half are you, wall. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. You gotta warn me, dude. I just didn't stop. Oh well, I stopped because I thought you stopped. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, I got six legendary reward bags out of all that work. I suspect you got something similar. Ooh. I'm emptying my bag. Oh, cool. Got a S2's Dragon Slayer sword. Plus 33 yeah. attack damage. Cool. Wow, this cookie thing is so slow still. Alright, I'm just gonna burn through my legendary bags here. Let's see. I got an adamantine short bow. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 14 full stacks of Yalor Yalorian blocks. Uh, some more molten bedrockium drums. Gold, copper, tin, Iron and destabilized redstone. I got a bunch too, but it was different stuff. Got a battle sign. Got another bow, a crossbow that time. Exterminator's hammer. <laughs> another Hadroth scythe. Scythe thingy. An adamantite short bow. But nothing cookie related. Oh, Pymar. This Dude, is not, not me. ideal. It's all you. So lost in time, we really just need the torches of time. Uh, bake to win. Uh, let's see. We could hand in the epic and legendary bags. We need an octuple compressed cookie, the zombie pigman, and enderman killers. We could hand in the legendary reward bag, but that's a septuple compressed cookie. And honestly, I don't feel like wasting one of those. And then the only other thing is uh, chemistry is actually done. The two quests that are in chemistry can't be completed. Oh? I don't know if you want to, like, cheat mode complete them or what, and see if that last one opens up. But technically, those are impossible. The items that they want don't exist in the game. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. And then there's community spatial areas, which I think we're going to explore a few of before we wrap up this season, aren't we? So you need me to complete Simbacort and Oxycodone? Yeah, like if you look in any eye, those items don't exist. And if you look at the quest, it's actually looking for cellulose, which I have 
like thousands of and it's never completed so okay they've been fixed uh way too much noise also that item does not exist and i have cellulose on me right now and manual detect doesn't work so that's also a bug quest so go ahead and complete that way too much noise one I just want like the, you know, oh, we need some UUX. Okay, that I believe we can get. Um, but that's actually really hard. I think that's the heaviest element that exists in Mind Chem. So yeah, you can have my gold heart canister, by the way. And we got an epic reward bag from that with some generators. So the UUX I can work on between this episode and next. Cool. I got Alienware, which is apparently some kind of tool. Oh, that's the oh, best that's shovel. Bad. Oh, is it? Apparently. Sweet. I got Ender Lily seeds, and I got some generators. Um, I'll give you the half wool if you want it. Sure. Hey, you can have the deep dark wool, too. There you go. Guess I should go put those away. Yeah, let's go put them in the monument. Where is VM after all? There it is. All right, so we have two that we need to go back and get, but like we have completed the area. Because nice. we're missing the ocean wall, and we had a problem with the overworld, and I fell out of the world and lost my inventory, so I need to go get the Iskandar wool again. Okay. Well, I think we can probably accomplish that between this episode and next. Yeah, I think that's pretty easy. What I think I'm going to do is just, like, try and let this cookie thing run for a while and get us close to an octuple compressed. And then, hopefully next episode, maybe we'll be able to get an octuple compressed. If not, like, we'll figure something out, basically. Yeah, because the problem is, if we want to go into the community spatial areas, that we need to um, use cookies to get there. Yeah, but it's all, like, low-cost cookies for the most part, from what I remember. Uh, one of them is a sextuple. Yeah, so, like, that one's triple, this one's quadruple, this one's quintuple. That's a little expensive. That's one sextuple. That's actually not too bad. That one's the tormented we actually already did. <laughs> That's the one that we did by mistake. Yeah, no, nothing's too bad on those. Cool. Cool. So I think we should wrap up the episode, Mr. Pahamar. Come back next time. Hopefully have some cookies handled, and um, maybe you can go get the, the walls that we're missing, and we'll see what happens. And some community areas. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, you know that there we're going to have go. to do the Tormented again, right? Are we? Why? Because when we were trying to fix reds, it got reset. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll figure it out. Sounds like a plan. But, I mean, it wasn't that bad of an area, except for those 30 withers I had to kill. <laughs> I'm probably going to want more armor again. I'm going to get another set of Tartarite and let these things break or something. I don't know. All right, guys, for now, Direwolf20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and check out some of the community spatial areas that have been set up for this nifty mod pack. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.